What is up, Maniacs, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great one. And today, we're going to be hopping into Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel and playing the Special Regulations Duel in Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel. Of course, I haven't had much things to make videos on because uh, Yu Gi Oh!'s Master Duel is getting boring and stale. So, this thing is kind of a breath of fresh air, to be honest, because uh, we're going to back to 2010 and using stuff that was basically available then everything that's more recent is banned and stuff like that so it's actually pretty cool and i used a couple of the loner decks but i decided to go back in time and use one of the cheese decks that i used to use which is basically beast king barbaros and skill drain and just beat your opponent down it is pretty fun we're gonna show off the deck list of course it's just for fun it isn't like guaranteed win but when you cheese your opponent it's still pretty funny either way if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to it help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers and make sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed the video leave a comment down below letting me know if you have fond memories of 2010 Yu-Gi-Oh because honestly I think it's super super fun it's not all crazy and uh, super special summoning and then just taking 20 minute turns it's pretty much a breath of fresh air to master duel it needs more things like this to be honest because uh i don't know master duel let me know your comments on master duel in the comments below but nonetheless let's hop right into the matches and for our first match we are going second with this deck it's kind of better if you go second so all right let's see what we got Okay, they're shuffling. Maybe an Exodia deck, I don't remember. Insect Knight, what in the world is this? One vanilla, crazy. We're gonna dark hole here and get rid of that monster on the board. Gonna get our Beast King on there. Get the Mask of Brutality on here. Put the Mage Power and just hit him for 4,900. Oh yeah. We do got the Skill Drain, got the Dimension Prison. Let's see what our opponent has base down okay we're gonna skill drain and then boost our beast king even more all right we're gonna let that go it's fine we're gonna hit that Ooh, royal magical library you always attack with your stronger monster just to deal with more damage chip damage because most of the time it's something that you can't get over either way this is basically game right you would think, but they have a battle fader here. And uh, we're just gonna set these into defense mode. Let's see what they got, Magical Mallet. They're just stalling at this point. Okay, draw three, reload. Okay. Heart of the Underdog again. It might be an Exodia deck. That's what I'm guessing at this point. Okay, wall revealing the light. Okay, only the big boy can attack now. They have 100 life points, so this should be easy, you would think. But they're still kind of stalling me out. Okay, yes, it is an Exodia attempt deck. So they are going to draw. Do black cards. Yeah, okay. They didn't draw Exodia, so they did not win. And, uh... I'm scared of that back row because in this event um okay we're not scared we're not scared okay negate attack in this event uh the mirror force is strong because uh it got me a couple times and they surrendered they did not draw the exodia forbidden one so they were forced to hit that surrender button honestly super easy duels Nothing too crazy, just having fun. So let's hop right in to the next match. And for the second match, again, like I said, going second, it works well for us. So let's see what they got, the gold sarcophagus. Okay, there's a couple cards I would craft for this event if it was permanent, but it's not. So we're just gonna leave it as is. Get the Mataza. We're kind of scared again, like I said. For that back row because i would have put axe of fools and i should have put axe of fools that would have been a wrap one turn but i didn't know if it was gonna be a mirror force and i didn't want to destroy everything so i wanted to save the axe just in case i needed it to use on the chainsaw insect 
because it kind of negates the effect that you give them a draw. So that works well. Okay, maybe another Exodia deck. Been seeing a lot of them actually. What is this? Okay, weird. Maybe just a cheese deck, who knows? Okay, let's take it. Okay, we're gonna chainsaw insect now. And it's probably too late. There's probably Mirror Force. No. Book of Eclipse. Are you kidding me, brother? Okay. Sick. We do draw. We're united we stand. We got okay. We got stuff. We got things we could do. Okay, they're going for the Morphin Jar play. But we're gonna skill drain right there. And uh that morphing jar ain't gonna do Jack Diddly squat when it flips, my dude. Get the Beast King. Okay, United we stand on the Beast King. We're gonna attack. Okay, that flips, but it's negated. You get nothing. Okay, sick. Chainsaw Insect. That goes away as well. And uh, it's negated, so they don't get to draw. And we get Gravity Bind. Okay. Sick, my dude. Awesome. So we should have just put that uh, United We Stand on the Mataza, but, uh, you know, we cooked it. Okay, that's another level four. I'm being an idiot. Okay, the Dark Bribe comes out. I used to run Dark Bribe in my decks. Just give him a card. I thought it ain't big deal. Just negate it. Alrighty, we're going to hit him with the Mataza. Now they're at 100 yet again. Okay, let's see. What can they do? They can hit that surrender button. They did not draw the Exodia either. So, honestly, super fun. Let's hop right in to the last match. And for the last match, again, going second. We got a good hand. Not with all the equips I would like. But still. Okay, they got the assault mode. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Dragon's Ravine. Okay, okay, I get it. The Dragoonity. I have these cards in real life. I like him. Okay. They're going for it. Dang. Alright. They got the plays. They know what they're doing. They're going for the Stardust Dragon. Alright. Love the Stardust. Taking it back. Alrighty, we're gonna start off with the scapegoats here. And we're just gonna leave it there because we do not have enough power to get over the Stardust quite yet. And we're gonna wait out a, a attack. So let's see if we can get rid of that Stardust. Okay, we're gonna skill drain. Okay. They attack and they attack the prison. Get that crap out of here. Hello? You insult me with this? Assault mode activate. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay. Now we got another bigger issue. Okay. Oh, okay. They got get they got they got stuff. Yeah, too bad. You are skill drained right now. I drained you of your skill. It's kinda sus, but it's all good. Alright, let's see. Let's get ourselves the Stardust Dragon right here. I like it, I like it. We're gonna get the mage power. And now we can attack over that big boy. Now we got the juice. We are able to take it. Alright, let's see what our opponent has. Terraforming. Okay, another Dragon's Ravine. Okay, they're running it. Pitching it. They're going for it. Okay. Scrap Dragon. Again, another good card from back in the Dizze. And it's negated, my dude. So, they negate the duel and hit the surrender button. Alrighty, let's hop right in to the deck list. And of course, we don't even have an extra deck for this deck. It's just going to be three Matazada Zappers. Pretty awesome. You could attack twice when it is equipped. Pretty good. Oh, actually, no. I just double attack. I'm sick. I forgot about that. Go and attack force, you know, 2300. But if you skill drain it, it does not go into defense mode. So that's good. The Ben key is the one that it can gain an additional attack for every equip card on it. Pretty good. Chainsaw insect. 
um, at the damage step your opponent draws, but if it's skill drained, you don't have to do that. Beast King, you just special summon it for 1900, but if skill drain's out there, it's a 3000 beat stick. Lovely. Okay, we got the Dark Hole. We got Swords of Revealing Light. We got Monster Reborn. Reinforcements of the Army. And then for our equips, we got Axe of Despair. Strong. Mask of Brutality. Awesome. United We Stand. I would run more, but I'm not crafting this thing for why. What why, What for? Maytar. Really strong. And then Axe of Fools. Pretty good, especially if you don't have the skill drain and you want to stop one of your effects very well. We got one scapegoat, one mirror force, like I said, been destroyed with this thing. Two magical cylinders, three dimension pris dimensional prisons, one solemn judgment, and two skill drains. If this was at three, it would be perfect. But I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you guys think of this. I think Master Duel should have more of these and should last for much longer. Maybe their own little game mode. I don't know exactly, but this is actually the only fun I've been had playing this game let me know your thoughts and if you guys have played this because honestly it is very nice fresh fresh air fresh air if you ask me let me know your comments how you feel about this but i hope you enjoy and if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to it help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers i'll catch everybody on the next one peace